Good morning, everyone. Again, uh, Jay, thank you very much for um, your kind words on the work that we're doing in the Yukon together. Again, at long last, again, I'm happy to um, be back at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference and welcome again to everyone to the Invest Yukon Pavilion. This is really always part of um, a very important part of each year. And uh, although we're a little bit farther into the season, it is, it's very good to be back. It gives, uh, in the work that I do, a bit of sense of normality um, that we're all back here together. I want to thank Ann Lewis. Um, thank you, Ann, and the Yukon Mining Alliance again for inviting me to kick off the first day of presentations here. Again, it's exciting to look at the future of mineral exploration and the vast potential it still holds for our territory. Last August, we celebrated our territory's, again, rich mining history with the 125th anniversary of the Klondike Gold Rush. Mining, again, remains important part of our identity and our economy as mineral exploration and mining are the Yukon's largest private sector employer. Thanks to the efforts of prospectors and explorers throughout the Yukon's exploration mining history, the territory boasts more than 2,900 identified mineral occurrences. This includes a number of critical minerals, such as copper, tungsten, nickel, zinc, minerals that are essential in the production of modern technology, including renewable energy and electric vehicle batteries and engines. This rich geological endowment of precious and critical minerals is attracting interest and investment from around the world, with exploration spending in the Yukon on an upward trend. Natural Resources Canada preliminary estimates of mineral exploration spending in the Yukon for 2021 is just under, under 140 million. Again, significantly higher than what we saw at around 85 million reported in 2020 in a very <clears throat> tough season. This growth should continue this year with exploration spending intentions around 160 million. To stimulate new discoveries, we continue to offer funding through the Yukon Mineral Exploration Program. YMEP, as it's called, or known to many of you, again, provides part of the risk capital to locate, explore, and develop mineral projects to an advanced stage. And so far this year, we've provided support to about 45 different exploration programs uh, to an advanced stage, um, or through, sorry, to um, hard, for hard rock and plaster. Again, in early in the pandemic, the government of Yukon declared mining an essential industry. And I think if you talk to folks uh, this week, you'll know um, we really got behind mining. We knew that the industry knew how to do it right. We knew that the industry knew how to keep people safe. And if you look across this country and how that was handled, you'll see that the Yukon was really an outlier in the fact that um, we supported our producers. We stuck with them. That meant a lot to them. That kept them moving. And that's been something I think that's been pretty special um, in this country and it really shows our commitment as a government to the sector. Again, we initiated some of the other work, we initiated roundtable discussions with industry early in the pandemic, again to communicate information in a timely and transparent manner. The Yukon's mines continued to produce throughout the pandemic, again while minimizing the risk to nearby communities. Overall, industry was responsive and continues to adapt well with health and safety protocols in place to keep the workforce in Yukoners safe. We continue to work closely with industry to ensure safe and production operations. And again, we commend the innovative and adaptability of industry in Yukon has displayed in meeting pandemic related challenges. The Yukon is currently home to three active mines. I see some of the leaders in the back from Victoria Gold, as well as from Alexco. Brad, good to see you. Um, and as well, Minto Mine. The continued operation of these three mines over the last two years helped maintain economic momentum and ensured that Yukon's GDP continued to increase during the pandemic when most other regions experienced a downturn. Statistics Canada GDP numbers show that Yukon's economy grew by just over 5% in 2020, while Canada's GDP shrank by 5.2% over that year. And again, much of that growth can be attributed to our mining industry. Additionally, preliminary GDP estimates suggest that Canada's GDP grew by about 4.8% in 2021. The Yukon's, the preliminary numbers show the Yukon's grew by 9.1%. And again, I want to thank the miners that are in the room. I want to thank the mining industry because they've been a backbone of this growth and again, have made us the strongest and fastest growing economy in the country. The Newmont's Corporation's Gold 
project, Coffee Gold, is also working its way. It's gone through the environmental YESA process and that's been completed. Again, this is another truly exciting time for us with this project moving ahead. The Yukon mining industry, again, continued to invest, develop, and advance projects in 2021 with active exploration and production of gold, silver, and copper mines. And continued advancement and discoveries, again, at numerous exploration projects, including those which host critical minerals. And I can tell you folks, um, in my role as Minister of Economic Development, every conversation that I'm having now at a diplomatic level, um, whether it be from European um, Foreign Service officers, uh, we've had uh, members from uh, countries in Asia come and spend over a week with us uh, in the last couple of months, and every conversation is about how do we invest, how do we take global money, and how do we partner in the Yukon. We'll be hosting a series of ambassadors from all Scandinavian countries in June, and the conversation is about critical minerals in the Yukon. Again, over the coming year, we expect to see a continued rise in mineral production with Alexco achieving design capacity by the third quarter of 2022. And you'll hear from Brad, I believe, about that later today. Victoria Gold's, uh, Victoria Gold's Eagle Gold ramping up their output in 2023. Paul Gray's in the back. You'll hear from Paul later on today. Again, together we can continue to move this momentum forward and again demonstrating Yukon's success as a world-class mining jurisdiction. The government of Yukon will continue to support the industry in responsible manner that benefits industry, communities, and all those involved in mineral exploration. And again, look, I hope everybody enjoys the last two days. I think it's just great for us all to be back in the room together. Um, please, if you um, have any questions, I'll be walking the floor. I'll be supporting our uh, companies at Booths. Come and chat with me. And uh, again, always my uh, email um, is online, ranch.play at yukon.ca. Um, we like to take a retail approach to this. If you want to get in touch with us and we can provide you information either from my office or economic development, we're always open. So again, have a great two days and thank you for letting me share some words today, Ann.